Hello everyone, uh, this amazing game was played in the 10th European Individual Championship, it was played in 2009 and uh, Vasilios Katronias is playing against uh, Sergei Grigorians and uh, well, uh, Grigorians uh, was the under 14 European Champion in, no sorry, he was the under 14 World Champion uh, in 1997 and in 1999 he was the under 16 European Champion and uh, well, Mr. Katronias, uh, he's a well-known Greek Grandmaster, he's also a chess author and uh, well he was uh, 10 times a Greece champion and uh, well also in 2014 uh, he ran for the European Parliament he was a candidate so uh, let's see this uh, brilliant game played by Mr. Cotronius uh, who is playing with the white pieces we have e4 c5 so the Sicilian defense knight to f3 we have e6 d4 uh, c captures on d4 knight captures a6 the con variation uh, we have knight to c3, d6, uh, bishop to e3, and uh, b5. And here, Mr. Cotronius immediately goes for g4. Uh, bishop to b7 is played, and bishop to g2. Uh, we have knight to d7, uh, g5, uh, knight to e7, and now uh, white castles. He doesn't mind that this uh, pawn is already on g5, so his king, uh, his king is kind of, uh, well, uh, drafty, but uh, this, is, this is actually okay for white. Uh, we have b4, attacking this knight on c3, uh, we have knight to a4, and now d5. And, well, we have f4 here. Uh, so, queen to, e5, uh, queen to a5, and now c3. Now, this queen is protecting the knight on a4. Uh, we have d captures on e4, and uh, c captures on b4 uh, with an attack on the queen. And queen captures on b4, and here f5. And okay, white gave up uh, some material uh, to, to gain the initiative. I mean, the black king is still uh, waiting there on e8 to be to be attacked. Uh, we have knight to d5. And, uh, well, okay, now this knight is attacking the bishop on e3. The bishop on, three, on e3 is undefended. And uh, white plays uh, f captures on e6. He's given up this uh, dark square bishop, but uh, it would be pretty dangerous to capture it. Uh, so probably best move here is uh, simply f captures on e6, uh, but it, you know it's hard to resist a nice a nice bishop on e3. So uh, Mr. Gregorians captures it. He plays knight captures on e3, and uh, well, here's what happens. Uh, Mr. Cotronius goes e captures on e7. This is with check, and well, uh, this pawn cannot be captured by the king. But the reason it can be captured is actually uh, a very subtle one. The 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 line if uh, the pawn is captured is well it's beautiful uh, if king captures on d7 then uh, the the best move for white is actually a3 and this is the move to find and now we have knight captures on d1 uh, we have a captures queen on b4 uh, we have knight uh, to e3 and now rook captures on f7 bishop to e7 blocking and uh, well here you have knight to c5 with check checking the king and also attacking the bishop uh, here on uh, b7 so if the king goes uh, to help uh, to help out this bishop on b7, white will just grab this bishop on e7. So king to e8, and now simply rook captures on e7 with check, uh, giving up a rook for two bishops. Uh, king captures on e7, knight captures on b7, and now knight captures g2, king captures on g2, and with two knights for a rook, white is white is doing great here. So after this, e captures on d7 would check. Uh, Gregorians saw this a3 idea and he played uh, king to d8. And here we have rook captures on f7. And uh, you, uh, you're probably asking, what is this? I mean, your queen is hanging on d1. But not really. If you capture the queen, you get knight to e6, and this is checkmate in one move. So after this rook to f7 idea, the queen cannot be captured. We have uh, bishop to d5, now attacking the rook on f7. And here, well, white again de uh, deploys the idea of a3, now attacking the queen. And, uh, well, again, you can't capture the queen if knight captures on d1 now, simply a captures on b4. Uh, if bishop captures rook on f7, you get rook captures on d1. And, uh, well, this is, uh, this is much better for white. Uh, the idea is that the king, <clears throat> the king still can't capture this pawn on d7 because of knight to b6 with check winning the rook. So, after a3... Uh, queen to a5 is played, and now white plays a move that is that is extremely evil. He plays queen to b3, now trying to give up the queen uh, with bishop captures on b3. But again, this is uh, unplayable. If bishop captures on b3, 
then knight to c6 with check and this is checking the king and also forking the queen on a5 but after queen, king to c7 of course not capturing the queen but playing uh, pawn to d8 promoting to a queen sorry and after uh, king captures knight on c6 simply queen to d7 and this is checkmate so very nice move this queen to b3 this is my probably my favorite move of this game uh, so we have bishop to d6 and here white simply captures the knight on e3 queen captures on e3 and we have queen captures knight on a4 so now knight to e6 with check and this comes with a very nice idea of bishop captures on e6 and queen to b6 check and well the king has no squares only move is to block with this dark squared bishop bishop to c7 and now queen captures on e6 and here well uh, black is definitely not feeling very comfortable uh, black has to bring the queen to help out with the defense so queen to d4 with check king to h1 and now uh, queen to e5 offering the exchange of queens but of course uh, the black king is still on d8 there is a very nice white pawn on d7 white isn't interested in trading queens so queen to h3 is played uh, rook to b8 getting the rook out of this bishop's path and now rook 8 to f1 doubling up rooks on the f file and with, with some nasty ideas of rook to f8 check so black black stops this of course bishop to d6 stopping rook f8 and uh, well here the best move is actually rook to c1 with with the threat of rook to c8 uh, but uh, mr petronius finds an uh, finds a very interesting idea he plays g6 and in this position uh, his opponent uh, mr gregorians resigned the game as well he doesn't really have a move here uh, for example, uh, you can't capture the pawn because you'll lose a rook on h8 and uh, well if something like h6 is played then now rook to c1 and although rook to c1 was playable it's it's kind of a nicer uh, line uh, after this g6 idea. Uh, so uh, you do have to stop rook to c8 with check so bishop to c7 for example uh, but now rook captures on c7 and this is completely lost for black. And now you can see the idea of this beautiful g6 move, because if queen captures on c7, well, now you get queen to h4 with checkmate. So, very nice idea, this g6 move. Uh, so, after rook captures on c7, probably the king has to capture the rook, king captures the rook on c7, and now uh, pawn to d8, promoting to a queen. And this comes with a check from the queen and the rook on f7. Uh, you can't really capture the queen, if you capture the queen, you get queen to d7 checkmate. So here, uh, I don't know, probably moving the king somewhere, but you're already down a piece. This is, well, this is unplayable for black. So after this very nice uh, pawn to g6 push, uh, Sergei Gregorians resigned the game. So yeah, I, I think this was a, a very nice example of uh, how to play, how to play <laughs> a beautiful chess. And that bishop to b3 move, that is, that is some move, huh? Uh, so yeah, I would like to thank Mr. Edwin Park, uh, Fernando Asatui, Ramila and Tony Mo at Guitar for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check all my previous videos here. And if you're a new subscriber to this channel, uh, I will also put a link uh, in the description below uh, with a playlist of all of my previous uploads. So yeah, thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon.